But behind closed doors, I'm a fool for your love What is up guys and possibly girls? For those of you who do not know me, my name is Finna SB or Scooter Brad and uh, today we're going to be making fun of some scooters. What else would we do, right? Have I got anything better to do? Not really. Please do me a favor and leave a like on this video. If you don't, well, I might just cark it because I'm desperate for likes. But no, seriously, if you do end up enjoying the video today, leave a like, leave a comment, whatever you guys want. I don't really mind. And with that all out of the way, let's get right into the third installment of the top five worst scooters you can possibly get. This will shock you. Hey. Coming in at number five, we have the Huffy Wicked Nomad Drifter Scooter, dude. Damn, dudes, this scooter is freaking lit, okay? Check it out, this back wheel that almost looks like a goddamn bowling ball. We've got the all-new XXXXXL foot fender, and it's massive. Some sweet BMX-like forks on the front, and finally, wow. Are those bars adjustable? That's a sweet-ass feature, mate. <laughs> that transition though was so sweet. Coming in at number four, we have Micro's first ever pro model designed purely for stunt scootering. Now, this scooter was an absolute beast back in the day, don't get me wrong, but looking back at it now, what were we thinking? There are so many things wrong with this setup, while some things are still so right at the same time. Take the deck shape, for example. Did he just say deck or deck? I can't tell. It's completely boxed with a flat bottom, which is something that was neglected by most companies up until recent times, but Micro nailed it just over seven years ago. The wheels have about 30 mil of core and uh, about triple the urethane of any ordinary scooter wheel. What else is good about this scooter? Nothing. We have an extremely strange brake, which is far too big, and then there's two double clamps. Why, Micro? Why? That doesn't make sense at all. Freaking sweet whip, right, guys? Hell yeah, dude. Let's check out the clips. Next up at number three, we have the Razer Artec scooter. Now this one features the same weird looking one-sided fork that we saw in the Nice Wheels Complete in the last episode. Look at the big ass wheels on this thing. Don't even get me started on the back end. Is that brake even worth being there? Because I feel like if you went to use it, the freaking spoiler would cock block your foot on the way down. Cock block kings. Justin, what's this herpes medication? Blocks. <laughs> the fork actually looks like it's been taking way too many steroids, bruh. Get off the juice. I am the first tester of the Black Rain Scoot label with the wide wheels. Now check it out. <laughs> it's a pretty smooth ride. <laughs> and it's got great brakes. I think that was hands down the most in-depth review I've ever seen in my entire life. All the, all the features were shown. That's for sure. Great brakes, smooth. It's got wide wheels. What else do you need from a guy in a sick sun hat on the, on the footpath? Man, he's killing it, dude. He's killing it. Coming in at number two, we have the Oxilo brand. Now, I think they actually made one really good looking scooter back around 2009, but nothing could compete with these products, man. This is your typical ripstick scooter crossover contraption with a twist. It's got a massive spoiler. This thing looks like Lightning McQueen and the king got it on and made a deformed baby. Too far? Okay, I'm sorry. Moving on. The next Oxyolo scooter features not only a handbrake, but forks that have some sweet suspension. And they even look like they could run 120s. What a bonus. It's even got deck plugs on the back and a wheel that is so far off center, I'm thinking the product photographer must have been high as funk taking that shot. 
Finally, at number one is the space scooter. Oh my god. This is the reason why people hate scooters, man. Like, I take one look at this and instantly feel the urge to turn myself into a pork kebab. Like the Exila scooter, this has a handbrake, but uh, the main selling point of this scooter is the anti-push base, where all you actually have to do is pump your feet up and down to power the back wheel and push you forward. It's like the concept of a bike, but about 10,000 times worse. And to top it off, can you believe that huge superstar soccer player Lionel Messi was the poster boy for this contraption? And I can just see the comment section now like it has been on every other video. Oh my god, why are you gonna make fun of this scooter? I have that scooter, it's like the best scooter I've ever had in my entire life. Shut the fuck up, Clyde! You faggot! <laughs> Okay, right off the bat. What are those? Is she even wearing two of the same shoe? Because to me, they honestly look completely different. Is it just me or does this little girl look like she's ready to die? Kill me please. Kill me now I don't want to live. I've had enough. I cannot do this anymore. And just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, it does. Welcome to the biggest sports event on earth. And we're off to a great start. Who is able to receive that beautiful deep pass? It's Messi, bro. Who would have thought? It's Lionel Messi, one of the true heroes of our time. Wait, what's this? Oh. Shit. Uh, things do excuse us. We are here because of the biggest sports event in the universe. I thought they were going to abduct Messi. Yes, we require your hero for the Intergalactic Space Scooter Challenge. Let me tell you from personal experience, I've played this game, if you guys want to see some gameplay of this, I did a, uh, a gameplay like just the other day on my channel, I'll link it down in the description, but please, just don't get this game, don't, just don't waste your, your bandwidth, or your time. <coughs> oh, that gave me AIDS. So, as you all know, there are some terrible looking scooters out there, but these are some of the top five worst, some are big, some are small, some are short, some are tall. But what in common have they all? They're all scooters and scooters suck. But to put the icing on the cake, I'm going to show you guys a few more honorable mentions that were sent in by subscribers and fans on the uh, the Facebook page. So uh, check out some of these and uh, maybe make a submission on the next post for your chance to be in the next video. So that was the third installment of the top five worst scooters you could possibly get on planet Earth and apparently now out of space. Hope you guys did all end up enjoying the video. If not, I'm probably going to turn myself into a tropical skewer. But anyways, leave a like. Don't forget to add me on Snapchat. Follow me on Instagram. Subscribe to the channel. Hit up the Facebook group. Scoot review. Every post has to be approved by the admin, which is me. Only the best scootering content gets posted on the page. That is it for today's Scoot review. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been your boy SB, Scooter Brad, and I will see you guys in the next video.
If you guys don't like scooters, you're gonna love this video. Leave a like if you don't like scooters, please. We're going through the top five worst scooters in the world for the second time. We've done number one. If you wanna watch it, watch it here. The top five worst scooters you can possibly get. Without further ado, let's get into the countdown. <laughs> 